Welcome to Everyday Recoding. This is part 14 of Cloud Storage Access through REST API. In this video, we are discuss on Google Drive API using JavaScript. Basically, this is a part 2 video. In part 1, we have seen project overview, basically functionality, features and technology that I am using in my application. And this is a basically JavaScript based application. Using this application, I have accessing Google Drive API. In part 2, that means this video, we will see creating a JavaScript based project in Microsoft Visual Studio. Within a project, I have used JavaScript library, CSS libraries. And next, we will see authenticate to Google account using JavaScript and getting all files and folders in Google Drive using Google Drive API. So I just close my presentations and go to my browser. You can see this particular application. When you click on this particular login button, you are redirecting this particular user panel. So I am already logged in my Gmail account, cloudstorage.everydaybecoding at the red gmail.com. That's why I'm not putting my user ID and password because all those informations are already included within a browser cookies. So my application read those browser cookies and automatically authenticate it. This is a JavaScript based application and this is a user panel. I have divided this particular user panel into a three part left panel. You can see Google Drive logo and logout button and right panel. That means upper right panel. You can see folder navigation structure and lower right panel. You can see all Google Drive files and folders. So right now I am going to my Visual Studio. Under this particular Visual Studio, we have seen a MVC application and this is an empty MVC application. Okay. So under this particular controller section, you can see this home controller. Under this script section, you can see this one JS files are there, drive.js. And under this style folder, you can see this one CSS files are there, drive.css. And under this view folder, you can see this one CSS HTML files are there. And when you click on this home controller, you can see this particular Google Drive API action method. And this action method call this particular view Google Drive API dot CSS HTML. Just click on this particular CSS HTML. You can see this under this particular head section. We have seen lot of CDN links I have included under this particular head section. Basically, in this project, I am using Bootstrap framework for styling purpose. And also, I have used a particular CSS file. And this particular CSS file dive.cs under the style folder that I am already show you and also I have used some CDN link for jQuery and this particular drive.js file under this particular scripts folder. So first of all, when my application click on this particular login button. Okay. So when my application click on this particular login button under this project, we can see this particular section login box. Okay. This particular login box is nothing but a this particular section sign in use your Google account and login button. You can see this sign in use your Google account and this particular button. When a particular user click on this particular button, this particular method that means this particular function will be fired. So this function is written under this particular drive.js file. So under this particular section, you can see this lot of functions are there. Basically this section, this particular function and those functions are used to authenticate my application to Google Drive API. First, we need to go to our CSS HTML page. You can see this particular section script. This is nothing but a API JS and this particular JS provided by Google. So first we need to call this particular JS file and when my page is on load position, that means when my HTML page is on loaded, at the time of page on load, this particular function handle client load will fired. Under this particular function, just go to this particular function handle client load. You can see this, this is the particular function this function call a particular load method and this is the particular library gapi so gapi is one kind of client library and gapi 
accessing my OAuth 2.0 client ID. So this is my OAuth 2.0 client ID. So just we need to copy this particular OAuth 2.0 client ID under this particular credential section. This is the particular OAuth 2.0 client ID. Just click on copy. Go to this particular Visual Studio and paste it on this section. So this is the client ID. When you first redirect on this particular Google Drive user panel, you have redirect on this particular section. That means home section. That means my drive section. This my drive is nothing but a root folder. We need to specify it as a root folder ID. First, this load function will be fired and this load function taken two things as a parameter. First is client.oauth2.0 client ID. That means this type of key and it also fired this particular function init client. That means initializing client and this function gapi.client.init. This particular gapi library take client id that means this particular key and it taken a scope so what type of scope i am specifying this is the particular url the using this particular url we are providing scope that means your application what type of scope provide your users that means your user can delete your google drive api files view google drive api files also create a new google drive api files and folders so you will provide any type of permission by using this particular URL. That means this is the particular scope. After that, you need to specify a profile. Profile means one kind of permission. This is a default permission. Or you can also say this is a default scope. By using this profile section, your user, that means your client. So that means your client view your information, your email ID, your first name, your last name, what type of information you disclose for everyone. Those information is only can access by your client. That's why you need to provide this particular profile. You can also provide any other kind of things. Just go to the Google Developer Console and under this particular OAuth consent screen, click on Edit App. You can see this, this particular profile. So what is the meaning of this particular profile? Just click on add scope. You can see this, see your personal information, including any personal info you have made publicly available. You can also use email, view your email address. That means your client only view your email address. When you use open ID, then associate you and your personal info on Google Drive can view your user. So those three are default scope and rest of those are not default this particular scope is only accessible for google drive api most of the scopes are only accessible for google drive api right now i am using this particular scope https colon double slash www.googleapis.com slash auth dot drive this type of scope i am using on my application https colon double slash www.googleapis.com slash auth slash drive so i hope clear all those things so after taking this particular client ID and scope, this particular function return a sign in process. So first time it will change the signing state and after that handle the initial signing state. If I already logged in, it listening all data from browser cookies and after that it will update this particular function update sign in status. After performing this particular function initial client this particular function update sign in status will be fired this update signing status is nothing but this particular function if the user is sign in or not if the user is already sign in in that case it will display this particular drive box this drive box is nothing but a this particular section okay this is the drive box and this is the login box you can see this dive box dot show that means dive box is open and login box that i am already put at my credential this particular box is height and show loading that means some status information messages will be displayed by using this particular function and get drive files so when you go to the definition of this particular section you can see this get drive files when we are calling this particular function we are passing this particular message as a show status loading google drive files 
and immediately this particular library call a particular client and load method so under this particular load method you can see these three parameters drive we want all google drive files and folders also what version of api we are using right now we are using version 2 that means google drive api version 2 and after that we are calling this particular function get files just creating a particular query what type of information we are retrieving from our google drives this particular query specify stress equals to false and folder id in parents that means at the first time we are putting root is as a global variable you can see this i have passing this particular root so first time when this particular function get files is called first time root content will be displayed and trust equals to false that means the item those are belongs to stress are not available for me because i have specified under this particular query first time it's showing all root content but not showing any trash content and after that we are passing this particular query under this request object and this particular request object taken query by using this q parameter and max result by using this max result we are passing number of files and folders so how many folders and files i want to display at a time we need to specify by using this particular parameter max result so you can see this number of files means 100 if i am passing 1000 in that case in my google drive 1000 files and folders will be displayed at a time this is the particular global variable by using this particular global variable we are viewing number of folders and files within my google drive after assigning all properties of this particular object this particular object has a execute method and this execute method execute it and call a bind files method before calling this particular bind files method it will return something the google drive item and all items are stored on this particular variable and this is a array variable drive files you can see this this is a array variable and this particular drive files array variable used as a globally into this particular function bind files when you go to this particular function you can see this this function actually defined all those things first it check drive files length if it has a content that means in my google drive has a files and folders in this case this particular for loop will be executed under this for loop we have seen that means by using this particular indexing position i we are retrieving all those things that means text content url label parent id thumbnail link file types permission role has permission by the way i have provided this particular source code you can download this particular source code from the description link of this video okay so after that you can see this expert link so if this particular expert thing is not equals to null then we are sure that the item that are iterated through this for loop it is a file if it is a file then must be it has a export link and it has a text link so we are putting all those things under this property text content url of this drive files array variable after that we are checking if it is not a file maybe it is a folder in this case we need to browse this particular folder that means this folder have some content put this particular title we are concatenate this particular title on this particular browse text and after that we are taking all those things under this particular f text f text play the important role f text is just like a string variable it concatenate all those things that means all those html text by using this plus equals to operator that means this particular variable append all those things and we are checking under this particular section what type of file extension i am getting from google drive if it is a text file if it is a xls file so regarding all those file extension i have a image so where those image when you go to the solution explorer and under this particular image folder you can see this lot of images are there for the pdf file you have see these pdf icons are available 
for this ppt file you can see these ppt icons are also available so if any one files not belonging on this particular type in this case this particular files showing one kind of icons that means you can see this it is a undefined icon so maybe this particular section is goes to under this else part and i have attached this particular undefined icon.png as a image on this particular file so after everything we have done we are just putting all those html content on the particular div tag okay and we are closing this particular div the way we are accessing all those google drives and folders that means if it is a folder when you click on this particular folder that means it is a browse section you can see this this folder is empty okay so when you click on this home it is directing on root folder when you click on this particular image you can see this this image will be display as a pop-up so those kind of things will be happened under this particular pine file function so so right now i'm going to my presentation so we already seen this create a javascript based project in visual studio so what are the typical steps i have already discussed all those things in my video so after that create a javascript based project in visual studio create a mbc application we need to create a particular controller google drive api and this is a particular view google drive api.cshtml and under this solution we have a home controller and drive.js file under the script folder and drive.css under the style folder and i have a google drive api.cshtml after that we have seen authenticated to google account using javascript my application javascript code have access google drive api by clicking this particular login button so this is basically authentication part i have already discussed all those authentication part in my video after that creating all files and folders in google drive using google drive api i hope you like this particular video so if you have any query regarding this particular video or if you have any suggestion regarding my youtube channel just feel free to put into the comment box by the way source code download link is also available under this description link that's it for today have a good day in my next video i will show you viewing folder navigation structures in google drive using javascript and getting user account information is google drive using google drive api viewing file details in google drive viewing share and trust information in google drive thank you for watching this video